Yes. Well, I'll say as any consultant, it depends on the context. Um, yes, I think there are limits to what the type system can evolve to. Uh, I think we're nowhere near that yet. I think dependent types is a great step in the right direction. And I, as I said in the talk, I think that future languages really need to make the type level coding and the, the actual definition of your functions indistinguishable. If those are exactly the same language and the same syntax, you don't have to think about what's in the type signature and what's in the code. And I do think that you, you're not ever going to be able to make the entire system just in the type system. I don't think that's the goal. I think the goal is more to prove that the stuff that you are writing is correct. Um, but yeah, I think there are languages today that have done a fairly bad job of trying to make those two languages indistinguishable. And so that would definitely bring on a question exactly like that. Um, but I hope that we can move a lot further, move the needle a lot further along so that we are getting more, uh, more static type checking and being able to delete entire realms of tests. Somebody asked me earlier about TDD and I made the comment that you often have to delete tests or comment them out. And they said, well, why are you doing that? They prove functionality within your system. And I think, well, they prove functionality at a point in time. So that if you're doing TDD and your tests help you to drive the design of your code, as the design of your code changes based on the model change or changes that your client has needed, then those tests will break. By definition, they will break. Method level tests break all the time. And if you're not maintaining them anyway, if you're just commenting them out or deleting them, they add no value. Whereas just changing the type in the type system is fairly straightforward. And everything that breaks, every place where that model change breaks, makes your code fail to compile, which is really powerful. Um, especially today, right? Like so many developers don't understand type level programming at all. So absolutely, it would be, you have to write tests to prove that your type is doing what you want it to do. I showed a slide during, during the talk that showed just that. It was so complex that I thought I wouldn't want to put it in production if it was ever going to need to be changed. Um, but imagine the number of tests that we had to write to prove that that worked.